Well, greetings once again. It's Prophet Tom, and we are here to start the day in God's Word. We're continuing our study uh, from Acts chapter 13, and today we're looking at the title, They Did Not Know Him, Even Though They Preached About Him. That's quite tragic, and yet every week these days, in this day that you and I live in, there are people that stand behind the pulpit and preach about Jesus without knowing him. There are believers that walk the street every day and they will talk about Jesus and yet they do not know him. Let's read Acts chapter 13 and verse 27, because those who lived in Jerusalem and their rulers did not know him, in condemning him, they fulfilled the voice of the prophets, uh, which are read every Sabbath. Uh, what a tragedy to see all the great powerful miracles of Christ, uh, to hear the words that astonished him. Mark tells us in chapter 1 and verse 22, the people were amazed uh, at the authority of his preaching. They said that uh, he did not preach like the Pharisees. Uh, what a what a sad reality and yet you know christ is working in our lives and and no matter what tragedy we go through we see that christ is there but you know the sad reality is as we mentioned there are people who stand behind the pulpit there are people who will talk about jesus uh, and yet not know him. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21, we read these words. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. You know, some cry out to God in a crisis, but that's just because they want help. It's not because they want to change. You know, it's God is not here just to answer our every little wimp. God is here to change us, to strengthen us. And so not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of of my Father who is in heaven. There's the condition to, act, to, to know God. We must do the will of God. What is the will of God? One may ask. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Have we not cast out demons in your name? And have we do not done many wonderful works in your name? But then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice evil. You see, it's not about following a textbook. It's not about lifting this Bible up and even preaching words. It's not about that. It's not about casting demons out. It's not about raising the dead. It's not about doing good works. You know, there are many churches around today that do good works. But Jesus will one day say, get behind me, I never knew you. Why? Because their life is still a life controlled by the enemy. Their life has not changed their direction. They are doing, they are building their own empires. But change needs to happen. You know, we can have experiences with God, and you have had those experiences, uh, and yet not change, and yet not even know that God was there. You know, you have you ever, you know, many times in your life, God has appeared to you, and you did not know it. A great example of this uh, is found in Genesis chapter 28, uh, and here we have the story where, you know, Jacob had a dream 
and uh, he had to flee his family because of deception. You see, his life was not changed. He was deceiving. He deceived his brother. He deceived his father. And then because of this, he has to run and, 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 and get away because his brother is going to kill him. And then it comes down to verse 15. Remember, I am with you. Uh, remember, I am with you and I will protect you uh, wherever you go and I will bring you back to this land for I will not leave you until I have done what I promised. So he, God, gives Jacob a promise. You know, God has given you and I a promise, a, a promise of eternal life, a, a promise of blessings. In Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3, God says, I have blessed you with every spiritual blessing. And so it goes here and then it goes on. Uh, and see, God is blessing. God has said, uh, you know, I'm going to multiply your seed. Even though you're going away into a foreign land, I'm going to bring you back. You know, and even though we may be traveling in difficult times with coronavirus uh, and we may have lost all that we've got because uh, of persecution wherever we live in the world. But God is saying, I have blessed you. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to multiply you and then Jacob responds and Jacob wakes up out of his sleep and he said surely the Lord is in this place and I did not know it you know God is around us all the time friends God is around us all the time right now God is with you Whatever situation if you're focused on the situation like get Jacob you will say God was here and I did not know it. Don't be like Jacob. Don't be like Jacob. And so he said, surely the Lord is in this place and I did not know it. He was afraid and said, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God and this is the gate of heaven. You know, you stand as we close this morning. You stand in the house of God and you stand before the gateway of heaven. Don't be like Jacob uh, and say, uh, surely God was here and I did not know it. So open your heart. Don't look at your situation. Don't look at your circumstances. Don't be like many of the others of the leaders and so forth and say they did not know him. He is here to be known. He is here to change us. He is here to become uh, a personal father to each and every one of us. So go forth this day in the truth and the reality that you will say truly God was here, but I knew it. Well, have a great day. This is Prophet Tom. Go forth in the power of God.